Everybody, it's Chowder here at the Purdue Sigbot Slam and Jam Vex U event here with an amazing team, Aries Z, coming in from Worcester, Massachusetts. This team here, a couple very unique robots that we want to highlight, on, especially this one right here. Pay attention to this. It's using linear slides to pop out and uh, get on those wall sticks. I love the design that's gone into this. This team has competed all over the world, so it's been great to see uh, this competition play and really bring in some great competition here early on, doing very, very well so far. So we can't wait to dive in to all the great attributes of both these robots, a couple of unique things, so pay attention to what's gone into both of them. And let's learn more about them here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash vex. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Robin, let's dive into your 15-inch robot here. I love watching this robot on the field. There's so many great things, especially these linear slides that come out. But let's break down this robot. Tell me more about it. Okay, so we started designing this robot at the beginning of the season. So, um, like we want to do some different stuff because most teams are doing Lady Brown Max. So, um, when, like, and also it's hard for, so it's hard for 15 robot to do a lady brown map because the arm is too short and the uh, and the, the size uh, limit yeah so uh, so instead of that we make a linear set to score on the wall stick so uh, it works when it intakes a ring it will go to the ring holder and we will raise it uh, like that yeah yeah and uh, raise the linear slide so we can reach the head of the wall sticks. I, I do want to ask, what made you want to come up with the linear slide? Like at what point were you like, this is a good solution for my team? A lot of team doing six bar or four bar at the beginning of the season, but we think that's like, that took a lot of space. So we choose the linear slide and it's more cool, yeah. Any other main parts of this robot that you want to highlight or cover? Uh, so we use the belt instead of the normal chain. So our conveyor never uh, broke and uh, it works really well. Yeah, and also we have a, a rush mag, so we can get the mogul at the front uh, in the in the middle line uh, during the autumn. Yeah. From a match strategy standpoint, um, your mobile goal deployment on it. Uh, what is some of like the uh, strategy that goes into grabbing that, and then what are you doing with it after? Uh, so we will rush for uh, uh, for one more goal, uh during the autumn and uh, fill it in like this. This robot uh, rush and mogul in the negative corner, and we will fill it. Then go back to the positive corner, so we can like defense the both mogul at the start of the uh, driver control. Yeah. This robot's really cool and impressive. For it, any uh, future changes you think you're going to make to this robot? Uh, we try to do like make it able to do the discord. Like we need to change the angle of the linear slides like, a little bit uh, backward. Yeah, so that probably help us to like do the discord. Discord. Yeah. Let's pass it over to Jim. Talk about your 20-inch robot on here, and you know. Overall, both these I think have worked in harmony really well so far at this event. So let's break down what goes into this robot. Yeah, so for our 24 inch robot, I'm gonna start with our uh, actually Mogul Mac here. So for our Mogul Mac, um, something special about our Mogul Mac design is that we have a incline over here at the bottom. So lots of time in a match when we have to like intake ring, when we have to intake the, take out the Mogul from the corner, lots of time the, the Moguls are pushed like into the corner with a ring in it, so it's like uh, tilted up. So with a regular in, with less regular mogul Mac, it won't be able to grab it since the height of the uh, with the height problem of the, the the bottom. But with our incline, we'll be able to just slide that in, and mogul will be able to slide in. And could you press that, please? Um, and that will be easily hooked on. 
And with the Mogul Hook on also, I would like to talk about our our ring placement um, while in the Mogul. So as our um, Mogul get filled up with rings, the one issue we had we encountered was that the top ring um, always will have the problem of getting hooked on the on the uh, on the hooks and ca uh, have the hooks ca caught on the rings and stuck sucking the Lady Brown mag and just not being able to score walls. So uh, to prevent that, we have these two. Uh, little forks on um what they do is that uh as you can see when the when on the t very top ring these forks will actually push the ring all the way out to prevent the hooks from getting stuck on the rings and so our lady brown mac will keep working and then to make sure it's going to loss for your clamp what made you want to choose the pneumatic solution versus going with a mechanical solution for that well one thing is that um the like uh, the pneumatic solution will since we have unlimited like air and we can use the, the big air tanks we can and also, like um, for the uh, for the clamps, we don't have to use it a lot of times, as not as like the arms we have to keep raising it and dropping it. So since this is just like a three or four times thing during the match, so um, definitely pistons are the best choice. Cool. What other areas you want to highlight on this robot? Yeah. So another thing is in the front, I like to talk about our um, counter rotors. As you can see here, for, uh, in in front of our rotor, uh, in front of our intake. Um, well, unlike most teams, they um, they have like a slight design. Just also with our the other robot, it has a slight design. Just the, the ring just slides on. So what, instead of what we have is a counter rotor. So um, we use the the flex wheel, like the the flexy things on um, Omni wheels. We actually take them off and put them on the high strength axle. Use that as, as gripping to um, kick up the 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 intake. Could you take it? Yeah. So what it does is. It, it runs reversely and then it kick, kick, kicks up the ring and then it's, so it's easier to go into the mobile. Overall, this is a great design. I think on both of them so far, like I said, I love watching the match play of this robot so far as well too. Uh, and the other thing we want to talk about, I know Wang Hong wants to talk a little bit more on the intake, so walk me through uh, what else is on this 20-inch robot for that too. Okay, uh, you know, uh, we, we use the board to shovel the corner, uh, corner rings and we uh, get the downward ring first, and we use the piston to uh, hang on the intake to get the third ring uh, at the corner. And uh, uh, one, one robot can hold the uh, two rings, uh, so we use the distance sensor, the distance sensor and the uh, color sensor for hold the ring when the uh, labor on got the got the one rings. Ari Z, overall, congratulations on a great uh, success so far here at SIGBOTS. We can't wait to see how you do throughout the rest of the way. So thanks for telling us more about your team and your robot. And we wish you best of luck throughout the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash vex. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.